These are spectacular fish. Oh, look at the size of that guy. <laughs> Holy cow. Another beautiful day in Rotterdam, New York. Alan Decker, Decker's Pondscapes. And this is a project you did how long ago? About two years, two, three years ago. Smaller pond? It's a pondless. Wow, look at this. Pondless, yeah. Wow, this is nice. They're a custom builder. So okay, it's a really, so you get unique features really nice like work. this. Yeah. It's beautiful back here. Oh, wow. Just love the hills. So what's cool here is that he had an excavator set the bigger, whiter boulders on either side. And then we came in just basically to do the water feature. So. Oh, oh, look at this backyard. This is the lifestyle. Fire pit, rocking chairs, and then a waterfall coming right out of the mountain. Look at that. This is a four to eight adjustable pump. He likes to run it low. Yeah. But it is, and that's the great part about the yeah, Aquascape whatever. adjustable pumps. If he's got a party can, back here, he does a lot of entertaining. You can crank it up for the louder sound or, yeah. Because if it's too loud, then you got, it's gonna ricochet off of there yeah. and you won't be able to hear it's it. It's coming out fast pump. down there, then it spreads out, so, yep. And then you get a nice yep. rock trickle. What a beautiful backyard. All right, I got my chair. All right, see you guys later. And we got a pond? Yep. All right, so this is We got a pond awesome. with two streams, two waterfalls. How long ago did you put it in? A week ago. Oh, really? This is the new one, okay. So this so is th fresh. What I love to show about this is what a water feature looks like, what a landscape looks like right after you guys get off the site, right? Right, absolutely. That's good. And this is Darren. Hey, Darren. Darren, this is Greg. Hey, Luke. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, sir. You just got a water feature, huh? Yeah, pretty psyched, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. What a nice backyard, man. You got an outdoor kitchen. You got a workout guy here, too, huh? Yeah, try. It's in between. How old are you? Trying. I am 45 years old, sir. I got you by three years. Yeah. <laughs> you got to smile when you say that age, man. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta ask you, what got you interested in the water feature? Probably like two years ago when I started doing the whole backyard, I kind of figured what we're gonna do as far as a waterfall, a pond, and plus when you go down to the store, you mean. So you had already been to Alan's store. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. got kind of the inspiration there. Yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah, it's all from Alan. And uh -huh. then when I when they did the Latham store, you kind of actually got an idea because that was the first where he put actually prices on uh -huh. the pond. So you kind of got an idea, okay, this is what you're looking at. And, and, so, and, and so people yeah. ask, this is honestly though, yeah. We like, to, we like to tell the prices because we want people to know what their investments are getting them. How was the investment for this? I don't even know how to explain it. It's priceless what he did. I mean, it was, how do we say it's undervalued? Am I saying it correct or overvalued or whatever it is? It's, 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 it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, it, well, we like to say a water feature tur yeah. turns a house into a home. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. So it just got done a week ago, huh? Yeah, yes, sir. Wow, just spectacular. <laughs> Look at this. I love the dual waterfalls. I love that the long 
It just, it literally looks like it's coming out of the woods. He talked about it, he just was kind of going over when, you know, when you start this process, we we're going over what our options are, and you know, the one waterfall down at the store has a bog, and that's a really cool feature. And instead of Alan doing a bog there, he recommended doing this over here, and that was a no-brainer. So it's, we like to say it's the last 10% that make a project. I mean, I, the first thing I noticed that is that beautiful, that log, you know, that was put in here. Like, that was not in the design. It was just like, how are we gonna incorporate that when you actually see it? You turn it here, you put it there, you turn it there, all of a sudden it looks like it, you know, I just, the only thing that's missing is a turtle, you know, yeah. laying on it. <laughs> you know, this stone right here, you know, that's in here, just breaking up with the water behind it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's the artwork. Look at, look at this little trickle. Look at this little trickle of this rock. The water coming down. Look at that. I mean, that's art. I mean, that there's it, no if, ands, or buts about it. That's art. Just spectacular. It's one week old, and we like to say about this investment is it'll only get nicer with age. You come back here a year from now, you come back here five years from now, it's going to be that much more beautiful as the plants grow in and the water feature matures. Just gorgeous. <music>of one of your dreams you moved here you know you built this house four years ago and this is kind of like the cherry on top to your whole dream of your house yes a hundred percent when when alan did this i mean it's uh it's priceless for us and i don't want to be i don't want to say it's life changing because it's it, it's not but it kind of is for us because what we go through it is you come here at night i run home to get here right i'm out first thing more four o'clock more four thirty morning i'm out here. wow it is i i love this and the experience just dealing with 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 Alan was you know awesome his whole crew and everything it was well, awesome. he takes it was pride awesome. in his work because yeah. it's art yeah you can see it. I mean just I, I find little detail all the time I go out there I'm like wow I didn't even notice that before or look at this rock or look at the stream coming down and stuff well it's awesome. well we appreciate so, too is yeah. our customers who yeah. appreciate the work that we do because yeah. you know it's it, for us it's a labor of love yeah. you know you don't work this hard because that's hard work how many tons of stone uh, here there's probably about 45 yeah, you don't put you don't lift and put 45 tons of stone in there if you don't like what you're doing. And uh, and and it's truly a labor of love. What I was so amazed with, it's almost like kind of a one take. He, It's not like he put the rocks in place and here comes the water and he's gonna move it around. These rocks were in place, ready to go, and then the water ran and it just came out like this. And that's what amazed me. That's yeah. what was amazing about it, that there wasn't like, okay, let's move this around and see if it's it takes. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, but, yeah. It's, but there's no, it's, one take you have to think like water yeah. and when you learn to think like water you're good well you know what buddy yes, this is this it's it's fun for me to see how my customers customers are yeah. living the aquascape yeah, yeah. lifestyle welcome to the family you can see how much a difference the plants make and the mulch makes but you know patio going in here he's gonna have a swimming pool going in here but he started with the water feature and that's what we like to tell people. Start with the water feature because it'll be the focal point of your landscape. Whatever you do in your backyard, water is life. And when you put moving water in a waterfalls, it's gonna be the number one draw. So you wanna start with the water feature and then the rest of the landscaping goes around it once you do it. The hardscapes, the softscapes, your plant material, the nightscapes, all start, but start with the water feature because it'll become the focal point of any landscape. And this cute house here. And are we, this is a pond, right? Yep. And how long ago did you build this one? At least six years. Okay, so it's pretty well established. Six year old water feature out here. This is so fun. Every time I turn the corner, I never know what to expect and it's always a pleasant surprise. Here okay. he is. Hi Rod, Greg Whitstock, like the great. pond guy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, and, the, and this is, I uh, hear, a six year old water feature? Another 13, you put it in twenty. When were, these are cute 30. houses. When were they built? 1952. That's right, yeah, I said around the 50s, 50s yeah. we guessed it, yeah. Right wow, this is a little piece of paradise you got back here, my man. This is my retirement gift to me. I love it. Oh wow, gorgeous fish. Beautiful fish. Yes, this is nice. This, oh look at the size of that guy. Holy. <laughs> Wow. I think you're feeding them well. <laughs> wow. They were all purchased as babies. Every year I would get two of them. These are spectacular fish. Where do you get them from? All over the place. Originally I got some from Allen. And my last four or five purchases out by the Great Lakes.
Pointing out the rock on your front. Look at the outfit. Yes. Look at some of the balding. Yes. Kind of just like my head. <laughs> I didn't do that. The koi do that. Well, this is why they have whiskers. What do you think? Let me ask you this question since you're very into these koi. Most of these koi are Japanese. They all have been raised in here since they were little small ones, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about people that say you can't have show quality koi with rock and gravel ponds? I don't know who. I, I, I don't. It makes no sense. You I, can have show. I, I think I have show quality. And you were talking about how they actually use their whiskers to braise on some of the algae on the rocks. Is that right? They, they absolutely do. I mean, I, not only do they do that, they, they select. You know how farmers rotate fields? Yes. These koi rotate rocks. I watch them. They'll clean out all of these this week. Next week, they'll hit another section that they haven't been eating on. Right, and then it will grow back and they'll get yeah. it. What they're taking off of that isn't only algae. There's little crustaceans in, yes. in that algae. Yes, that's why the fish are so vibrant in colors, because really? this is how they live in the wild. This is, they literally eat what's ever on the, the, the crustaceans, the nutrients, all that stuff is good for the koi. You have spectacular fish. I would have to say, Al, this is my favorite customer's fish that I've seen on yep. this trip to New York. Absolutely. Good job, buddy. Could not so, have been done without Alan. So let me ask you this question. You've retired now for uh, three years? It's four years. Four, four years, years. And, and Alan said this pond was part of, part of the reason that you stayed retired. What was your story with that? Well, once I had the pond, I couldn't go back to that tension. <laughs> this, is, this is it. The Goshiki Koi in this pond is absolutely unbelievable. You love the scales, right? And I like then, to look at the Indian ink. Look how every single scale is outlined. This is a this is a this is an officiato right here. People ask me how do you value a koi, and it's the patterns. It's they're pleasing to the eye. It's the size, torpedo shape. It's how they make your gut feel. Thank you for allowing me to see a little bit about your hobby. I'm glad that you're living the aquascape lifestyle. I bit. love the fact that this is your pride and joy in your retirement. How yeah. about this guy, Alan Decker? Good job. <laughs> I told Alan, I, he made my retirement. Amen. I mean, this is not a pond, this is artwork right there. Amen. Now, go look at other ponds. Go look at some of the competitors. Here's. I mean, I've seen a lot of water features, mm -hmm. but when I see a Decker pond, I don't even have to ask. <laughs> you know who did it. No, because I mean, yeah. I look at it and I'll say, I know who did that one. He takes, it's a labor of love for us both, for all, all of our certified counters, but he's have truly talented. Have you ever talented. filmed him doing it? Yeah. I got to watch them oh, yeah. turn the rock down, looking at it, flipping it Oh, yes. It. Yeah, because we take a pride in our work. We get into it. We get into our work. Hey, you know what? If you like people that get into this hobby like I do, if you like beautiful fish, if you like cool guys like Alan that are true artists, like, comment, subscribe right here. Check out these videos below and see how people are living the Aquascape lifestyles in their retirement. Rod, thank you for the hospitality, my man. My pleasure. Thank I you. really appreciate this. And, man, I got to tell you, I love my